Greetings Commanders, and welcome to Hug for Bug. In this video we will learn advanced mining techniques and crucial tips that will make you mine faster, more effective and earn you maximum amount of profit in the Elite Dangerous Universe. Today we will focus on core mining since it is the best and most entertaining way to earn billions. Let's begin. Hug for Buck. We will start our guide with ship positioning. So you found your rock and ready to shoot the fishes. Best way to align yourself is always going down with vertical thruster, F, and support it with the X space break. Make a direction adjustment with your mouse if needed, face the crack using X, the space break, and shoot the fissure. Since the asteroid is rotating most of the time, using one-way direction will make things easier for you. Thirty seconds will be enough with this technique, blast the rock when you are ready. The right asteroid with the core is not hard to find, but it takes time. Within a good hotspot, you are supposed to find the rock with the right core every two minutes. Brightest yellow asteroid with minimum amount of red is the rock you are looking for. After some time and experience, you will spot the rock immediately. First, target all the fishes and have an idea of what you are dealing with. Always start with the high, finish them all and move to average. Check your crack meter and if you are close to the blue line, one average or one low will be enough. Every asteroid have different amount of cracks, so the only working formula is shooting high to low. Faster mining means more money. Moving fast is important for core mining, so go as fast as you can. Boost constantly and don't afraid to bump into an asteroid. Your shield booster will protect you. High speed has no effect on pulse wave scanner and time is very important for core mining. After arriving to the hotspot, always face the planet and go towards it so you won't make circles and revisit your dust. You can make four groups for mining. Group A should be the pulse scanner and prospector. The group B should have the seismic launcher. Group C for the abrasion blaster and collector limpets. Group D is the surface scanner. 
Collector limpets are never enough for this job, 5 is the minimum amount of collector limpets for faster collection, and 7 or 8 is ideal. Always bring an extra seismic launcher and make sure it's in the center of the ship for the good aim. The first thing you should do before mining is to check in our website for the highest valued mineral. Please refer to my previous core mining video on the right corner for details. Look for a mineral around 7 or 800 K and look at how recent the price is. Never trust a price older than 10 hours. Before you mine, go to the system you will sell the minerals and find a metal-rich ring planet close to it. Look for the rings that have lots of orange circles. The rich rings have more frequent core asteroids. On a good hotspot, you are supposed to find the core you are looking for every two to three minutes. If it takes around five, it means it's a bad spot. Just leave that ring and find another one. If you are constantly finding other cores than you are looking for, it's an ugly spot. Always mine the core you decided and that you learned the value of. Core mining needs a ship with a good maneuverability, decent speed and a good cargo hold. Best ship for this is the Python, by far. It is almost designed for core mining. Imperial Clipper is the second choice for the job since its hardpoints are very far from each other and has no central hardpoint. Clipper is my favorite ship with its magnificent speed, agility and aesthetics. Krite is the third choice, capable for sure but ugly for many pilots. There are different mining options in Elite, such as laser mining and subsurface mining. For laser mining you need immense amount of cargo hold, an army of collectors and lots of patience. Cutter and Type 9 is good ships for that. Subsurface mining is lots of work and lesser profit than the other. So, thanks for watching Commanders. And please don't forget to subscribe to Hug for Bug and like the video.